Hello, everybody. Nice to meet you. I want to start this presentation by asking you a question. Do you know what is number one technology that can help us in the future? Technology that can help us with prevent crimes that involve forging data? Well, that is what. My name is Namo and I host this topic because my father works at a blockchain tech company and when I found out about blockchain, I wanted to share the information with all of this. So many of you won't know anything about blockchain. And some of you would have heard of blockchain but don't know what it is. And some of you would know about blockchain better than I do. But considering those who don't know anything about blockchain, I'll explain it. So, what is blockchain? Blockchain is a advanced database mechanism that enables transparent information sharing within business networks. A blockchain database stores information and chain blocks. Again, many of you will understand. So, I'll give you an example. There was a time in Korea when Korea was called Joseon. In Joseon, things were very different from Korea as you may know it. So basically, Joseon is a part of Korea's history. In Joseon times, there was a book called The Annals of Joseon Dynasty. This was a book that recorded every Joseon king's life. And what Joseon did with that book was very clever. He made four exact copies of it and hid it in separate places. If one was damaged, it could be repaired or restored by referring to the remaining three. This was an overreaction. During the Imjin War, which happened in 1592, when the Japanese tried to conquer Joseon Dynasty, the Japanese burned down three of the places where the books were kept. But the books were restored by referring to the remaining one. This act of copying the books and putting them in separate places can be an example of how blockchain works. The blocks are data. Data are stored in blocks. There are thousands, even more blocks. The blocks are chain. If the data has been updated, the rest of the chain data would be updated as well. If a block has been broken, it could be repaired by Repaired by referring to the other blocks. Specifically, this will be the other computers since the blocks are stored in thousands of different computers. But before, I'm sorry, excuse me. You, now, you may be wondering why did computers come up in this block? Well, this is because computers are a crucial part of blockchain technology. But before this, there are some things you need to know about blockchain. Okay. Now you might be wondering, where is blockchain used right now, in the present? Well, blockchain is used in cryptocurrency transferring. Let's say that pers a person gave a specific ounce of the coin to someone else. This information will be stored in blocks. This is where blockchain is used. Speaking of which, there is another example of where blockchain is used is right now, but that is NFT, and it is very hard to explain. So if you're curious, you'll need to find it out yourself. So back to the topic. The blocks are stored in computers, like I said. These computers are owned by individuals and companies. There's a software that allows individuals to access information about, about the transaction made by other people and themselves. But they can't know who made the transaction. They can only know that person A gave a specific amount of money to person B. They can't know the names of the persons who made the transaction. This is how blockchain works. Now you learned how blockchain is used and how it is, how it works. So I think you might be interested in learning where blockchain can be used in the future. Well, blockchain can be used to prevent crimes that involve forging data. 
These days, forging data is very easy. I know because my father showed me an example of one. They get my grades are bad, very bad, which isn't, you know, I mean, which isn't, if you're wondering, by the way. But I want to go to a new school, a very good school. But that school won't take me in if my grades are bad. So I decide to forge my data to make myself look good. They don't know me, so they won't know that I forged my data. They will think that I am really good and take me in. But that won't happen with blockchain technology. If there are thousands of thousands of copies of my grade, I won't be able to forge every last one of them. There is another example of blockchain. There won't be anyone who knows about this example because I made it myself. So basically, I can say that I made my own blockchain security system. I stored information about my father's spine. It's based on only what he has done wrong. Not closing the door properly, ignoring messages, stuff like that. I recorded that information on a piece of paper and made five exact copies of it and hid it in my house. But even if my father tried to get away by forging those files, there will be other files to prove that my dad tried to get away by forging those files and get additional files. So it's a win-win situation. My mom and I get the files and my dad gets rid of his bad habits. But I'm not sure my dad thinks it's the win for him. Anyways, I was going to update every last single one of one, every copy about more fines my dad has paid and need to pay. But I guess I was too lazy to do it because I already forgot where I put those fines. And apparently, they, those fines are decaying in my house. But with computers, that won't happen. Since computers don't be lazy or sleep like me, they won't miss any information go past them. So that concludes our talk about blockchain. Blockchain will be a part of a very important security system. And with that, I hope it can stop many crimes from happening in the future. Thank you.